Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the flywheel on your snowblower engine, make sure the engine has cooled and the ignition key has been removed. Now carefully tip the snowblower forward so it rests on the auger housing. Detach the choke lever extension. Next, use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the three mounting screws, securing the lower shroud. Lift the lower shroud off. Now release the hose from the primer bulb. Use locking pliers to crimp the fuel line. Then release the retaining clamp to detach the line from the carburetor. Return the snowblower to its upright position. Now use a 5 16 inch socket to remove the three mounting screws, securing the chute assembly to the chute ring. With the screws unthreaded, lift off the chute assembly. Next, use the 3 8 inch socket to remove the four mounting screws, securing the upper shroud. You can now lift off the upper shroud and set it aside. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the nut and bolts securing the governor arm cover plate. Lift off the plate. Next, loosen the rope guide wing nut to release the starter rope and handle. Remove the bolts securing the blower housing. Set the blower housing aside. Rotate the flywheel to move the magnet away from the ignition coil. Now remove the mounting bolts securing the ignition coil and move the coil out of the way. Use a half inch socket to unthread the upper mounting bolt securing the belt cover. Now use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the lower mounting bolts. With the bolts unthreaded, pull off the cover. Now use a pipe wrench to secure the drive shaft and a 19 mm socket to loosen the flywheel mounting nut. Unthread the nut and remove the starter cup and fan blade. Strike the flywheel with a mallet to loosen. Then slide off the old flywheel. Before you install the new flywheel, confirm that the flywheel key is intact on the drive shaft. Now align the new flywheel on the shaft and push it into place. Replace the fan blade and starter cup.
then rethread the mounting nut. Torque the nut to 50 foot pounds. Reposition the belt cover and replace the bolts to secure. Realign the ignition coil on the engine, then thread the mounting bolts loosely. Make sure to secure the grounding wire under the lower bolt. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolts. Rotate the flywheel so the magnet aligns with the coil. Then insert a business card. Loosen the bolts to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolts and remove the card. Reposition the blower housing and replace the bolts to secure. Realign the starter rope handle in the rope guide and tighten the wing nut. Reposition the governor arm cover plate. Replace the nut and bolts to secure the plate. Reposition the upper shroud and replace the mounting screws. Realign the chute assembly on the mounting pins. Then rethread the screws to secure. Tip the snowblower forward. Reattach the fuel line to the carburetor and secure it with the retaining clamp. Remove the locking pliers and reattach the hose to the primer bulb. Replace the lower shroud by first inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame. Position the shroud and rethread the mounting screws. Replace the choke lever extension with the support tabs facing up. Return the snowblower to its upright position. With the repair completed, reinsert the ignition key and your snowblower should be ready for use.